What's going on YouTube? I'm here again with a quick video. What we're gonna do today, we're gonna remove the head so we can remove the lifters because we have a noise. So we're gonna install brand new lifters from the dealer again because this engine has been previously re rebuilt. But um, hopefully it's not the DOD because if it's the DOD, you guys already know it's a headache. So we're gonna try and then replace the lifters. What we're gonna do first, we're gonna unplug the battery Remove the plastic hose, intake hose, intake, disconnect everything, remove the belt, remove the alternator, cut the bracket loose, remove the coils, valve cover, remove the header, and then I'll show you step by step. Well, first, let's go ahead and start the truck so we can listen the the noise. I believe this is a uh, 09, I think. Yeah, 09. Let's see if you guys can hear that ticking sound. From here. So it's on this side, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove the driver's side head. So let me go ahead and plug the battery. Our battery cable is disconnected. So now I'm gonna remove this. The 8mm from here. Alright, so we have the air cleaner off. Over right there. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna remove the belt, remove the alternator. And let's see if we can, uh, have to remove the bracket. If no, we just get them loose, move it out of the way, and start unplugging the coils, remove the whole coil assembly, remove the harness, and start removing the intake. And we're gonna need the um, special clamp so we can remove the the fuel line right there. Right one right there. So let me go ahead and do it. All right, now to remove the belt, you're gonna need a 15 millimeter. You're gonna get it from that tension right there. This one here, 15 millimeter. Okay, alternator is off. All you need is a 15 millimeter, so you can get these two bolts off. We're gonna remove only the pass the driver side one. Remove those. Unplug this one. I move the alternator to the, to your left or the passenger side. So on here, all you have left is 15 millimeter bolt holding the bracket for, for the power steering and for the AC, I mean uh, for alternator. So I'm gonna, gonna go ahead and have more space and remove this one here with 15 millimeter. All the rest are 15s. So I'm gonna lose those so I can have more space and just move the bracket off the way. And then by doing that, after I'm gonna start unplugging everything, which not everything, it's just this one for here for the coils. And then full assembly is gonna come out, unplugging the spark plug cables and then once I have that done I'm gonna start removing the intake get it whatever plug is on the way like this one here plug off and then the rest is I believe is what is 10 or 8 8 millimeter bolts it's not the size of the bolt the size of the socket you need 8 millimeter to remove those so let me go ahead and do bracket then coils and then the intake all right bolts from the bracket are off it's uh, four long bolts. All you need is a 15 millimeter socket and this little one. The four long ones is gonna be right here, 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 and the one in the bottom. And the little, little one is gonna be right here from this little bracket. See the little bracket right here? It goes into the block. So that little bracket into the block. And then voila, this thing got loose. Right now we're gonna remove this one with a 10 millimeter socket. Every time I mention any millimeter or anything, it's a socket, not the actual size of the bolt. This is the socket you're gonna need. So 15 millimeters, those are size eight millimeter. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take this 10 off. And then once I'm half down that, I'm gonna remove the whole coil pack. Okay, for the coil pack or any LS of the trucks, 5.3, 4.8, 6.0, 6.2.
All they had to do, get this little locking off, try this one up here, and disconnect it from here. This is the only plug you need. From there, you remove the spark plug cables, and you're gonna remove one, two, three, four, five, like five or six, 10 millimeter, uh, with the 10 millimeters, and you're gonna get this full piece off. So let me go ahead and unplug the spark plug cables, and then I'll get those uh, six to five bolts off. All right, three little 10 millimeters bolts are off. Those little long ones, so you're gonna need a long socket. Uh, the only one more is right there, and then also unplug the spark plug cables. So let's go ahead and remove this one. Get this one out of the way. At this point, now you can remove the whole assembly. Nice and easy, one piece. So now we can go ahead and remove the ball cover. But before that, I'm gonna remove the intake. So start getting the eight millimeters off. And first, you're gonna unplug the fuel line, the fuel line from here. You need special clamps. If you don't have any, you can use the AC ones, which is these ones right here. So let me go ahead and plug that. Unplug it and and get the the party going. This point you're supposed to remove the uh, fuel injection plugs, the fuel uh, inject the injectors, the plug for injectors, left and right side. So we can remove the intake. Let me go ahead and do that. Or as you can see, all the injectors in this side are unplugged. Any other sensor you see on the way, unplug it. This one here, this one on top. Whatever plug, because the engine, the intake is supposed to come off. To remove this one from here, you push the top down and you pull it up. Nice and easy. So this one is off. Now the fuel line. After that one, let down the injectors on the other side and start removing the 8 millimeters. Okay, so we have the other side off. For the injector plugs, this is your power booster you're gonna go on the back, so you plug it now. Plug. Now the fuel line, once that and one we is have all done, it's the fuel, one of these bad boys, and then this one too, two goes into the intake, has a little clamp, so just move it and then pull it out, nice and easy. Let me go ahead and get the, the fuel off. Okay, the fuel is off, all I needed, it was this one, the little one, clamp it this way, push it in, and pull the hose out. Uh, what size is this? Let's show the size. Uh, it's not a 516, right? No. Well, now that that's off, we can go ahead and remove. Start removing the eight millimeters from the intake. Let me go ahead and do it. That the other side, the intake's off. We need is five eight millimeters on the left, five on the right, and pull it out. So after removing the intake, I find that sucked in oil. So cool, the oil came out from the intake. So we're gonna check any type of valve versus the valve cover has any bypass. Okay, we have the intake off. Found some oil in there. We're gonna have to figure it out. I have the valve cover coils. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the exhaust with the things of what 14 15 millimeter remove from the bottom of that one and remove the whole exhaust off is this piece right here and then from there we're able to remove the head bolts the push rods the rocker rams we're getting ready so let me go ahead and go under and remove the the bolts from the bottom it's only two it should be 15 millimeters all right, the rock ramps and the push rods are off using the 8mm bolt. Push rods, put rock ramps over there.